Hi, welcome to the Pat Sheranian Show. We're so glad you've joined us today, and I'm so happy to be back on the air. I was on yesterday, today, and I'll be on tomorrow. I've been very busy bringing other hosts in and getting them trained in some cases, and they're bringing great information and news to you, and we're excited about that. But today I wanted to be on the air because I have a great guest. Are we on the air? Okay, we are on the air. Good. <laughs> okay. And my guest today is Ron Payne. Ron's a good friend from a long time ago. And the reason he's on is because it's very timely come spring for people to start having expos, uh, trade shows, and things going on around the state of Utah. And they are. I attended one last week at uh, UVU here in the Orem area. It was very good. We met lots of friends. Ran into Ron there, and it was fun seeing people we haven't seen for a few years. It was. And uh, I wanted to come on the air because... We have a show, and I'm working with them, so that's the we. And you tell us all about it, at least the name that we're looking at here. It's called the uh, Good Life Expo. It's basically a home and garden. Health and wealth is the theme that we have for the show this year. Uh, it's going to be held in the Spanish Fort Fairgrounds in the Tennis Court Building. Uh, it's been very well received by the uh, uh, exhibitors. We're excited to, to be back. We used to produce this show. We produced the show for about 15 years. And then when they decided there was going to be a recession, we kind of withdrew and said, hey, if there's a recession, we don't want to do a show. Well, now the recession's over, so we're back, and uh, uh, the show is being very well received in Utah Valley. It's really fun. Ron's been doing this show, I think you said, over a period of, what, just 15, 16 15, years? Uh -huh. And uh, they took a little break, as he mentioned in there, but we're back. And uh, it's a very fun time to go to these shows because it's not too hot. It's not too cold. It's coming up on April 13th, which is a Friday. Uh, they'll be opening at noon to 8 o'clock in the evening and on Saturday from uh, 10 to 6. Is that right? That's right. So it's April the 13th and 14th, and we've got about 80 to 100 booths. We're filling them up. I'm selling, Ron's selling, we're trying to outsell each other, that's the fun of it all, and to bring our friends in. KHQN will be there with our radio and microphones and so forth, and also Utah Valley Live, we're going to try and stream and uh, have everything just live going on. It is exciting, it's fun. So, if you have a home business that you would like to have um, displayed before other people, sell your product, show it off, whatever it is, if you have a book, if you have a, a roofing company, if you have gardening, anything related to gardening, uh, hobbies, home, health, wealth, anything really, this is really a fun show because the last one I went to is pretty much all business related. This is business related, but it's home business as well as commercial um, brick and mortar building business. And we'd like to work with you because I'm going to give a discount for home businesses or if you're a member of a chamber of commerce. Can I do that? Yeah, that's great. We'd uh, love to welcome anyone in. Uh, let me just kind of read some of the the people that have already signed up. Oh, that'd so be good. Let's hear about who they are. We know what type of uh, vendors, and it really is a, a wide spread of interesting vi businesses to uh, become familiar with. Uh, Freeway Propane and down on the, uh, in Springville area, just off the freeway, it will be there. Uh, bringing fences and propane uh, uh, appliances uh, always has a lot of uh, good material. Uh, probably my favorite longtime customer is Woodstuff, who sells the bark and such. They're also That's on. That's right for for landscaping. And is she that right? uh, always does a great job in in building a beautiful display. So we're looking forward to to her being in the show again. TCM Carpet Cleaning will be there. Vitamix Corporation will be there demonstrating the, the Vitamix mixer. Uh, and that's always great because you get free samples. Yes, that's fun. And, uh, In fact, you know what? I found a lot of most of these vendors bring things now. Then they have prizes they give away. They have fish bowls that you put your name in or your card in, and they have lots of prizes. Um, lots of candy and yummy things to just destroy my diet on every table. And it's a lot of fun. Okay, who else? Uh, one of our favorite ones, again, is Habitat for Humanity. Oh, good. Uh, we bring Habitat in as a guest 
Uh, we do not charge them because they're one of my favorite charities. Uh, I've been affiliated with Habitat again for probably 20 years oh, when they great. first came into Utah Valley. Uh, Timpanogos Hearing will be there. Uh, Carter Glass, again, another old-time friend and, and uh, is coming back to the expo. Good. Uh, Cook Chiropractic. Let me, let me back up. On the glass, is that for windows, Oh, homes? this is windows, yes. Okay, so not mm -hmm. cars, but window, uh, uh -huh. house, home, office. Okay. So if we got a car glass <clears throat> company that would like to be in, we've got slots. I, I, well, it's, that's why I asked, because I've got one, and he fixed a windshield for me, and I just think he's great. Okay? Uh, Living Scriptures uh, will be in almost all the shows around the state. You uh, know, we're I thought pleased to have they them. moved... No, they were still out in, by uh, Novell and the golf courses are in Provo. Are they still? No, out there? they were. They've always been based in Ogden. I'm not sure. What am I thinking of? Scriptures out there? Maybe, it's a, but this is living scriptures. Living right? scriptures. Living scriptures. Okay. To do the uh, publications and then the okay. DVDs. Okay. Um, Good. Great. They're great. Another one we're excited about is Costco's coming. Ah. Uh, Costco uh, is going to be building a new store in Spanish Fork, and so they're anxious to come down and get acquainted with the neighborhood. And where are they building it? Uh, in that new North Park. Uh, used to be the North Park where they've demolished the park and put in. <laughs> okay, so big you got field. off the freeway at the north end of Spanish Fork. And you're driving through, headed towards the Spanish Fork fairgrounds. Yeah, are they but on the east you, side of the street. You, no, you want to get uh, <clears> take the exit. That pushes you up into the Spanish Fork Canyon, and they'll oh. be on the right as you head across the expressway. Oh, there. Where, oh, there are grocery stores across the way, and yeah. just before you go up the canyon. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's a great location. Goodness! So they've been all they've been driving up to Provo then to the Costco's up here yeah. in Orem. Yeah, and that's kind of a long ways. It is a long, even ways. though they have great gas prices. <laughs> are they've uh, been going to South Springville? The Costco's, there's no Costco's. No, I'm there isn't a Walmart. Costco. No. You're right. The only one is up there in Orm. Oh, and good. So uh, we're really pleased to, yeah. to have Costco with us. <clears throat> we're really pleased to have them coming to uh, Spanish Fork. Good. That is the first development. Uh, the city is developing that area, and that's the uh, first company that's uh, signed on to build right now. And so in the fall, we will have a Costco in Spanish Fork. Oh, wonderful. So they're going to be there and bring all kinds of things. Give away. They're going to give away things, I bet. Okay. Uh, Suncraft uh, Energy is another exciting exhibit. This is a home-based business, but they are marketing uh, solar panels and solar devices to uh, lower your heating and uh, elect electrical costs. You can actually receive rebates from the state and from the power companies when you install solar to uh, that'll be interesting because we certainly all care about that uh, I think what they will be featuring is their water heater heater system that will uh, reduce the the biggest draw of, of fuel in your house is usually your water heater okay. and if you can have an alternative source to gas or electricity do it do it yeah. and so <clears throat> If you have just joined us, this is um, Ron Payne with me, my guest, and we're talking about the Good Life Expo coming soon, April 13th and 14th at the Spanish Fork Fairgrounds. Uh, I am working with him, but he is the person behind it all that made it happen. We're going to be talking about how you put a show together, what he goes through to make this happen. Um, we're going to talk about how many people we think will be coming through and how many it takes to really make a good show, which is not very many, I'm learning. And uh, I've, as I said, I've been involved in this particular show either three or four different times, and uh, also many, many shows up in the Salt Lake area and um, down at UVU over the years. I enjoy yeah. them. I have found more friends and such good times at these shows, and we all love to get back together again, and we're each other's best customers. That's what was fun last weekend when we did the show, because we saw all those people we knew from... Years past. There were people that thought I died and been buried by then. <laughs> I haven't seen them, some of them, for 10 years. But it was it really is a fun show. Okay, who else? Uh, American Family Insurance. My personal uh, uh, agent is Tim Shanto in Spanish Fork. And uh, Tim was one of the first ones to sign up to be on the show. 
Well, congratulations um, to both of you. That's good. Sears Home Service Centers are coming in. Now, uh, is that the, uh, when you say service center, is that the uh, division that fixes things? or? Yeah, they uh, will come in and contract to do different. Uh, so they're coming in to let people know they're there to do the service? Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Does it have to be a Sears product? No, I don't believe so. I don't so. think so. Okay. The Sears products now are so broad anyway. It's true. It's really true. Okay, that's good. Who else? Sensicity Wickless, the uh, uh, candle company. Do you uh, know who, who signed up for that? Because these gals are busy. This is a home business, and they work. Uh, it's a lady named Katura who lives in Lehigh. I don't know her, but I've met a lot of them. They're, they're very successful. Uh, I've had would, three people call to get booze in there, but unfortunately, Katura was the first one. She to, got in first. Or fortunately, either way. <clears throat> uh, Wise Foods is coming with food storage, something that's very topical now. Wise Foods? Wise Foods are out of Salt Lake. Okay, and tell me again about their product. Uh, home storage foods. Oh, like other, several others. Emergency preparedness foods. Okay. And, Home foods. Okay, storage. Okay, that'll be good. Certainly timely. Cardal Insulating will be uh, on hand to feature the, the benefits of insulating your home. Good. Again, another energy saving. Uh, we'll have IFA will be there with uh, uh, flowers. and uh, They probably Forest. are going to do something the the kids will enjoy, have pots for the, for the kids to plant flowers and They've and, done uh, that before. Yeah. That is really fun. Okay. Uh, service experts here in Provo <laughs> will uh, be joining us. Uh, Clearview Window Cleaning uh, will join us. Again, he's been with our show for a number of years. Uh, Usborne Books. Okay. Uh, again, children's books that uh, uh, all the kids seem to enjoy. I've got a couple of authors that are interested in coming. Sell their own books and stuff. Is That's that, fine. Does that work? Okay. Uh, one of the the uh, uh, confetti antiques and books is coming. Okay. So they we will be selling books, and so they will fit right in, I'm sure. Good. <clears throat> Just uh, pick out a couple of more because I want to have you talk a little bit about um, who's, who's coming, how, about how many are coming, and we'll run out of time unless you go through this pretty fast. So I'll quit interrupting, maybe. Uh, no well, let, this next one, let me tell you about okay. because you know all about it. Oh, WB Vibrations. This is Bruce Honey. Bruce Honey. Yeah, this is the T vibrator, the machine you stand on. This <laughs> machine is amazing. It's uh, if you ten minutes on this machine is equivalent of an hour workout in a gym. And uh, I had one here, and we were all standing on it here in the studio, and then it's gone away and. I promptly gained weight back. So you can lose weight on it. It uh, balances your body, circulates. It's great. It vibrates you back and forth, sideways, everything, but you don't jump up and down. <laughs> so, But it's great. He's going to be there with a couple of machines, going to be demonstrating. So, And I'm right across well, the hall from him. Okay, yeah, you are. Way. We're going to be on. And uh, by the way, if you would like a booth or like to know about either one, give a call to 372 3300 Three seven two three three zero zero, and you'll get Ron Payne. If you get uh, want to talk to me, uh, then it's eight zero one three six two nine five five two three six two nine five five two. We're here to help you and uh, work with you and and make it possible for you to get into the show one way or the other. So give us a call. And uh, who else? We've got time for some more before then. I, okay, well, like we'll, we'll get just about other. to the end of the list. We're uh, <laughs> okay. Uh, Kitchen Craft will be there marketing, uh, again, their uh, cookware and is such. Is that Mary? Craft? No, no, no it's this Kitchen Craft, the uh, pots and pans people. Oh, from, right. Okay. Uh, one of our uh, favorite exhibits is the USU Extension Services. They come in with uh, their master gardeners and uh, are there to give hints on gardening uh, Home I, economics. I want somebody to tell me what to do with my rose bushes, so that'll be good. You All should right. have trimmed them already. Oh, no, not it's been too cold. <laughs> okay. See what I'm going to do this afternoon? He just cut out my whole day for me. <laughs> they need trimming. Another interesting group that we're, we've brought in is the Brown Theater Group out of Springville. 
I don't know them. They uh, are an amateur group that put on some great productions during the year. And so we've invited them to as guests to come to the show. And, and uh, they are in, a, in the midst of a fundraising effort to, to uh, reestablish uh, their uh, theater in Springville. It's great. Okay. Uh, Chamber of Commerce, Spanish Fork and Salem will be there, passing out welcome bags to visitors as they come. Uh, another fun booth will be Wiggy Wash, our new car wash in Spanish Fork. Wiggy Wash? Wiggy Wash. Okay. Outside we've got, so far, we have Lund Fireplaces out of, coming from Tooele. And he's got a trailer full of uh, uh, fireplaces that uh, you can install in your home, in your fireplace, or, or standalone uh, heating units. I have one of those, and they're very nice. They don't take up a lot of room. They look great. You punch a button, and, the, and it looks like the fire's coming. It's great. You punch it off when it gets too hot. It's just a heater. It's anyway, great. that's kind of a rundown of who Wait, we I have Wait, I want to mention so um, Cecilia Salverson. She's bringing in her line of uh, essential oils. And she comes from South Africa, and she has, she used to travel throughout the entire South Africa nation and talk about these products. She was into the medical business. Of course, it changed when she came here. But these are her formulas, and they, she is an amazing person. She is going to be there. So look for Cecilia. She has a wonderful accent. She's very knowledgeable, and so can't leave her out. Yeah. I did kind of skip over that block. I'll forgive you. I forgive you. <laughs> and we've got more coming. So if you would like to be one for sure, call us. Get hold of Ron at 372-3300, 372-3300. And get hold of me at 801-362-9552. Both of these numbers are 801, by the way, 362-9552. We do have a chat room. If you'd like to make a comment or ask a question, we can handle that in our chat room. Uh, just uh, get online at pat.utahvalleylive.com, pat.utahvalleylive.com, and uh, get in our chat room, and we'd be happy to chat with you. Now, I want to take a few minutes, because you've been doing this longer than anybody in the world that I know, personally, putting on these exhibits and these shows, and people seem to think they need to have 10,000 people come through to make it a good show. So I liked your stat that you gave, and I thought that was pretty good. We each, if we each took three minutes to talk, are constantly for two days. We can reach about 320 people with a three-minute conversation. That's about it. So you don't need thousands and thousands. So we're expecting somewhere between three to 5,000. Uh, you don't need a, a lot of people at a show to make it successful. Uh, basically, people come to the show to gain information, and the exhibitors are there to uh, gain leads. Uh, they'll see more people in uh, the two days of the show than they probably will in a month in their store. Or more. Or more. Or more. <clears throat> and uh, uh, one of the keys in being an exhibitor is to be prepared to work those leads after you've gotten them. They've got to be worked within two or three working days. Right. You know, the show that we were at and... Uh, uh, at UVU? At UVU. My phone was ringing. I thought I'd better <laughs> turn it off. <laughs> uh, the, uh, you know, as many people as we saw, I've had two people contact me, is all. You know. Yeah. So now I'm a cold lead as far as everybody else is concerned. At this point. Or we have to do some calling and then you start and have to explain what show you saw them, where you met them, mm -hmm. what your card looked like, what you look like, because they've, they've seen too many people. But this will be a fun show and one I'm looking forward to. So let's go back to your first show. What? Why in the world would anybody do this? Because it's an enormous amount of work and there's a huge expense. Renting the facility is the beginning of it all. Well, way back in, what, maybe 92, 1992, I was uh, promotion director for the Utah County Journal. I don't know if anybody remembers the journal. It used to be delivered to the homes. Everybody remembers it. Well, except everybody that moved in here in the last 10 years. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, I said, hey, let's, uh, we've got all the people going to Salt Lake to go to the trade shows. Let's start a trade show down here that we can promote local businesses rather than businesses up north where 
it's hard for them to be serviced anyway. It is. And so uh, we started that show at that time, and that was a very big learning experience, especially when the show's all over and you've got this big hall and all of a sudden you've got to clean it. <laughs> I wasn't ready for that. It's a lot bigger than a cultural hall yep. <laughs> after an event. <laughs> you just said something I didn't know. I didn't know this was an indoor tennis facility. It is. It's an indoor facility. Uh, it is a tennis court on other days when it's not being used for exhibits. And, uh, and I've been going down there for 10, 12 more years, and they had no idea that's what it was. Yeah. That's interesting. So it is nice and warm, though. It's it is nice, nice and warm. warm. In, the, um, in the summer, they have um, blowers. keeps it cool. They do. <clears throat> but this is the perfect time of year. And then you set up, okay, what's the next thing you do? You've got the hall, and now you've got to worry about all the uh, setting up the booths. These are 10 by 10 booths, by the way. They're draped. You get um, two... <clears throat> excuse me, two chairs and a table. <clears throat> excuse me. And um, I think the and price... electricity is and provided. electricity too. is provided, which you don't get that anywhere else. And the thing that I really um, it th I think is so wonderful about this is you've got it set up so that people that have large things or large events, you can move things around and accommodate them. We can. We can, uh, you know, if we got areas that take more than a 10 by 10 space, we can accommodate that. Also... I know that the booths where we were at at UVU um, University out there, that they cost almost twice what your booths cost. Plus, they had to pay about $200 to rent the table and to rent the chairs right. and to, and to rent the, get the, the electricity. Draping. They don't get draping in some places, so an electricity was terrible. So these, I think the booth price for these is absolutely great, and if you belong to the Chamber of Commerce <clears throat> or if you have a home business, we can give you a very, very nice discount. And we would like to do that. So call Ron at 801-372-3300. 801-372-3300. This is Ron Payne, who owns this show. I'm Pat Sharanian, working with him. Or you can get hold of me, 801-362-9552. 362-9552. All right, talk about some of the things that uh, people need to know about if they're going to be an exhibitor. Uh, exhibitors I, sometimes... Uh, this says killers. These things kill the exhibit. Yeah. A lot of times they want to bring too much to the be in, uh, in their booth, and they'll have stacks of literature and uh, uh, put the table right out at the front of the booth. These are all exhibit killers because what you want to do is get people in, and you want to be able to talk to them. You don't want them to just take your material and leave because you have no way to... Uh, resource them after and so uh, you want to have a device that uh, gets them into the the booth and not put the table at the front and then have a barrier between you and the the public put your table to the side so you can invite them into your booth it's much friendlier i'm also going to be talking about cayenne and i know that if you watched or listened to us you've heard you've heard our commercials you've heard me talk about it because these products have changed my life and i think i've been in every product on the planet but these this particular product line the people involved have made such a difference in my life and so i'm very excited about to being able to visit with you in person we'll be we'll have kayani products there there are three different products we'll have history of the company and we're going to sit and visit i'm i'm taking chairs we're going to sit down we're going to have some visit we're going to taste the products. hey i got the chairs for you already i know that everywhere else i've had to take chairs so this is nice can i have two more you can. Okay, we get two more chairs. And we're going to visit about all these things. We're going to talk about the radio. Perhaps you have uh, products that you would like to get to talk about on the radio in our streaming, uh, utahvalleylive.com. Uh, you might have um, products. You might have. Uh, uh, you might want to be a host, and you've always wanted to be on radio, and now, you know, we're on the Internet, so it's, it, we're going around the world. And uh, it's really fun when you get uh, emails or, uh, or a chat com comes back from Japan and Australia, and just a fun thing to have happen. So a lot of reasons for having a booth out there uh, for everybody. You need to think of a, uh, as a, a booth as a 3D uh, advertisement. And so the exhibitors need to keep that simple uh, so that uh, as people pass by, they know what is being sold and presented at that booth. Many times it's so... Uh, garbled up that 
no one knows. I have stood in front of a booth and wondered, what are they selling? <laughs> what, is, what am I supposed to know about this? And you're right, the ones that are, they simplify. So the, if you'd like a booth and you think, well, I don't have the backdrop and I don't have the banner, call me or call Ron. We'll talk about it because you'd be amazing, amazed what people do that don't cost too much. And uh, some of the hotels actually bring furniture and furnishings. And it's beautiful. They set up beautiful booths, but there's not a signage anywhere. You know, one of the, you think you've got 10-foot space in the front of the booth. That takes about four seconds to walk the the width of that booth. So if you haven't got the their attention in that four seconds, you're not going to get the attention. Unless you're going to chase them down. Yeah. <laughs> and well, I'm sure that's what you'll do, Pat. Here, here. <laughs> I do stand out in the in the aisleways <laughs> and and uh, visit. But my one of the f- pleasures of being in this for a couple of days, we really do meet new people that are there. And some of them bring campers and take naps in between, and one will, you know, help the other one. One goes and rests, and one comes back. But it's fun. It's fun to work out. And, again, it's coming up on April 13th and 14th in the Spanish Fork Fairgrounds on Friday the 13th. Friday the 13th? Friday the 13th. We're going to call it a lucky day. Friday the 13th we're featuring as our Golden Senior Day and uh, – we will have admission tickets at each of the senior citizen centers for seniors to come and pick up and come on the Friday. Uh, so get on their little vans and come out together, and yeah. uh, uh, and we'll see if we can find some discounted wonderful things. I certainly want you to come and try the Cayenne. we got to get all the seniors in there, because one day I'm going to be a senior for sure, any day now. <laughs> so that's good. I didn't know that. I'm glad you shared that. Our time is up, and I've loved having Ron with me. We talk a lot. This is the first time we've gotten together on the air, and I'm grateful for that. Uh, Again, I'm going to give phone numbers. Uh, Ron's number is Ron Payne is the owner of the show, and it's called the Good Life Expo. Home, garden, health, wealth, hobbies, just about anything you have. Good. He's holding up up again. There you go. Hold the sign up. And the phone number is? 801-372-3300. Give it again. 801-372-3300. Great. Thank you so much, and thank you for being with us. And we'll answer any questions that you have. Well, we'll find the answers. How's that? If we We don't have it, we'll find the answers. And uh, you'll want to say hello to Ron when you get out to the exhibit, shake his hand, ask any questions, and you'll be seeing things around in the paper. So thanks for being with us. Stay tuned. I have White Elegance coming in. We're going to be talking about some interesting new products new dresses that they have, um, new costuming dresses. I'm just terribly excited about this lady coming in with me just in a few minutes. So stay with us. We'll be right back. Thanks for listening to our broadcast. Please do us a favor and take a moment to call, text, or email your friends and family and let them know about this show. We're live on this radio station, KHQN AM 1480, and on utahvalleylive.com, where this show will be archived for later viewing. Also, Utah Valley Live is seeking additional programming for our growing network, talk shows about religion or politics, how-to shows, and more. Go to utahvalleylive.com and send us your contact information and the type of show you would like to broadcast. Hi, I'm Roger Strong. I'm here to tell you about Tidbits of Utah County. No death, divorce, devastation, or destruction, just good news for good people. You'll find us everywhere in Utah Valley, in doctor's offices, restaurants, mechanic shops, anywhere that people wait. We have over 35 features of fun, family-friendly entertainment. To find a paper or to advertise, call Roger at 801-616-6288. Again, that's Roger at 801-616-6288. We're Tidbits of Utah County, the happy paper for Happy Valley. I'm Diana Hoffman, host of Healing Talk Radio. Everything you thought you knew about the brain is changing. There's an explosion of new research about how to repair our minds, heal our emotions, and enhance our relationships. Join me every Friday at noon as we interview top experts, review books, and debate the controversies. Healing Talk broadcasts live on KHQN 1480 AM and video streams at utahvalleylive.com. For information, go to HealingTalkRadio.com. Are you an athlete looking for a natural boost to your workout? Have you studied up on the benefits of nitric oxide production to your performance? Then you'll want to try Kayani's Nitro Extreme. Nitro Extreme promotes cardiovascular health and improved blood flow, supports muscle contraction and relaxation, as well as nerve transmission. I use Nitro Extreme right before I lift weights, and I've never been stronger in my entire life. 
If you don't try Nitro Extreme, you'll never know what you're missing. Call 801-362-9552 to order yours today. That's 801-362-9552. A new radio show is opening up each Wednesday at 12 noon on KHQN 1480 AM. It's called the Home Business Finance Show with me, Lawrence Law. We will discuss home and business strategies to increase credit scores, get out of debt, make more money, and save more for your future. When it comes to money, knowledge is power. and We are going to share some very powerful secrets with you. Join us each Wednesday at 12 noon on KHQN 1480. Also check us out at lawrence.utahvalleylive.com. See you there. going to count. Hi, this is the Pat Sheranian Show. We are back, and I have my new guest with me. We're very excited about this, and she's driven down from Salt Lake. As you know, we broadcast both on pat.utahvalleylive.com streaming video and on KHQN 1480 radio, and we're happy to have her aboard. And we did this rather quickly, and I love people that just say, okay, I'm spontaneous. I'll oh, absolutely. I have seen the name White Elegance for a long time, but let's get your name out first. It's Anna Barbieri. Yes, good Italian name. Let's spell that. It's B-A-R-B-I-E. Barbie. It really is Barbie. It really is Barbie. Okay. E-R-I. E-R-I. Bobby Barbieri. I bet you spelled that a few times. I have spelled it a few times (laughs) in my life. (laughs) I've done that with Sheranian a few times. I, can't I bet get it, you have. I can't get interrupted when I'm spelling it. Or, you know, you get off track. <laughs> well, you're so young and wonderful. And well, you've got this, you. this thriving business going on. And I did not know you were all over everywhere. We are. I thought your only store was right here in Utah Valley. And I was surprised to find you're in South Jordan. We and are in Murray, Orem, South Jordan, uh, which is our newest store at the district, just off of Bangor and 114th South. And then we also have a store in Centerville. You do? We do, off of Parish Lane in front of Walmart. And it's just beautiful. All of our stores are beautiful. And we're just finishing up the remodeling of our Murray store this week. And we have been in business so long, we wore out our Orem store. So it's newly remodeled. (laughs) That was the store I knew was the Orem store. And um, I thought, well, I was calling just the one place. And I find out you're this wildly successful entrepreneur. Well, I don't know about wildly (laughs) successful, but we have certainly been blessed over the years. Well, let's go back and start. First of all, it's white elegance. I, we have seen this name. You do wonderful advertising. You are all all over the place. I have been in, I've purchased um, a beautiful dress from you. Thank you. Years, some years ago. I was, I love the customer service. Everybody was wonderful, sweet and wonderful. I didn't know what I wanted, and uh, it and it was uh, size was a problem, and so we solved it. Good. And uh, I was so happy to be in there, and the prices were right. So, <clears throat> in looking at <clears throat> one of your advertisements, I'm looking at this pioneer dress, which you've kindly brought with us. But let's go back to the very beginning, because I want to know who you are. Okay. We like to know who we're dealing with. People in Utah have to know who they're dealing with. So, Anna, where did you grow up? Well, my sister, who is my partner, we grew up in Midvale, Utah, and um, just born and bred, and we've kind of just stayed here in in Utah. We love it here. Did any of your folks go to school in the Salt Lake area? No, my folks are from Twila, so we'll give a shout-out to everybody over in Twila, and we love them. Use the name. That's right. Mom and Dad. The Bevan name is very well known. Okay, Over in Twila. So they grew up there, and we come from business people. Uh, my father was a is a great businessman in his own right and started a business when he was very young of car repair and and started selling auto parts and, and just kind of grew up from that. So business is in our blood. So 
So is it just you and your sister? My sister and I started White okay. Elegance. Okay. Uh, we do have two siblings, two brothers. Oh, okay. That, you know, toughen you up. <laughs> Growing up with brothers, it gives you <clears> I have four sons and a daughter, yes. and she said exactly the same thing. You survive because you have to. That's exactly right. <laughs> That's exactly well, right. Well, so now how old were you? Because if you grew up around business people and you knew what work was about and you knew if you put so many hours in that money was going to come home and that would give us vacations and so forth. Exactly. And not everybody gets it. Apparently you kids did. So how old were you when you remember thinking, let's do something? I was roughly 26, 27 years old, and I had um, graduated from Utah State. So another shout out to our Aggies out there, fellow Aggies. I uh, graduated, and I had taught for a couple of years, as did my sister, who was a special ed teacher for West Jordan High uh, School. Bless her heart. Yes. Yep. And then I went on and was selling pharmaceuticals, and I went to the temple and for the first time, and I went, oh, my goodness, where can I find? And I was about half the size I am today. And <laughs> we so, all were half the yes, size. Yes, <laughs> back then. And how could I find a dress that was small enough? And there just wasn't anything. But ironically, Pat, everybody I asked said, well, when you find out where to find one, please let me know. And after you hear that 13 or 14 times and you have um, a, just an unsatiated hunger for business and doing things, you go, you know, let's just create a few temple dresses. And that's how it all started. So my sister Tamara so jumped college, in. So college age, you think, when that started? Oh, I okay. was about 26. Okay. And uh, my sister was a little older. Okay. And uh, that's young. That's young. And certainly then, because it's been a couple of years. Yeah, it's been 20 this year. Oh, you're not that. Yeah, but we just met. That's why. And she looks like a baby. She oh, looks please. like she ought to be 22 years I'm old. I'm paying and... her a lot to say that. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's true. But I, uh, 20 years you've been doing this. We've this been doing great. this 20 years. Bless your so, heart. Yeah. We started putting on paper in 1992 what we wanted to do. And we just thought it would be a nice little supplemental income or something where... Um, we could be mo moms and kind of do it on the side. And our brother was an investment banker and kind of laughed at us and said, well, if you sell three dresses a week, and we're like, oh, yeah, right. It, we can't do this selling three dresses a week. Let's <laughs> figure this out. And, and no, uh, my sister and I do not sew. I whipped up a few of the first samples, um, but we did not manufacture them. And then you had them. the smaller sizes. And we had tiny, and we go to a 3X, 4X now. So did you go through the designing some of the dresses and finding yes. people that could manufacture for you? Were they overseas or here or where? No. I... Do you rem And you'll remember this, Pat. Do you remember Lavoie's? Of course. I knew them well. Yes. In Salt Lake yes. for years. Lavoie Sorensen. Yes. And he had a company for all of our young viewers that sold, I, I would say, lingerie. Oh, yes, it was lingerie, and her husband is, of course, the pharmaceutical company, so mm -hmm. it's pharmaceutical. But uh, she gave a lot of demonstrations on makeup and first um, really fun nighties that I had oh, seen yes. in a long time, but then she had the temple clothing, and wonderful lady, wonderful, long, she's gone now, but a wonderful lady, sure. Yeah. So you were part of all of that, or you well, were selling for Well, you her? know what? We sewed up our first samples, and my sister had the vision of going to Sorensen and, well, and finding a good manufacturer, because we knew we weren't going to sew these in our home. Yeah. And went to Sorensen, and they said, oh, or Lavoie's at that time, it was called Lavoie's, and said, would you like to do some contract sewing? And so that's how we began, and we fell into an amazing, amazing um, designer who was 65 years old at the time. And My had retired goodness. from L.A. So um, we were just really fortunate. And is she still around? Yes. She actually retired from White Elegance about five, six years into it. And she took up oil painting and has remarkable skills. And Let's give her a shout out. What's her name? Elizabeth Grand. Okay. And then we, ha we were very blessed when she retired that we started working with Liz Entz who created even more wonderful different designs and then she retired as well and is a biker oh, she uh, pedal bike and just bikes all <clears throat> over the world and well let, let's bring up some things uh, for, foster can you bring us up um some of the uh, uh, temple dresses i think he's going to put a few of them up off of your website which let's oh, give your website and phone number it's whiteelegance.com and well, that's easy yep white elegance dot com w-h-i-t-e-e-l-e-g-a-n-c-e 
whiteelegance.com, and that will get you to the website? It will. Is there a phone number they can call? There's an 800 number, 1-800-628-4742. Let's give it a second time. 1-800-628-4742. And again, the stores are located. Let me start with the one I know here in Orem. It's in Orem on University Avenue. And it's just south across the street of the University Mall. Pat, there's a wonderful little Einstein bagels right next to us. They are in kind of around the corner of Sunflower And Sunflower Market. uh, And you don't have to go out of the parking lot. You just kind of go around the corner there. Brand new remodeled. It's such a beautiful. We're so proud of this store and so proud of our incredible ladies that work there. And you have... A lot of merchandise in all of these stores? Or yes, we do. do you have, Each can, can store you is fully online? stocked. That would be a question. Yes, we actually ship all over the world every day. You do? We do. Do you know that you can send this interview out all over the world? That's what people? I understand. Yeah, we're going to do it. All right. That's right. All right, so you're in Orem, and then the next one going north would And be... then we also have one in South Jordan. Okay. Now, the store in South Jordan is <clears throat> brand new, right by the District Theaters on 114th South and just east of Bangor. Beautiful little shopping area. There's so, so many fun little stores right in there by us. So when you see Target, we're just west across the street of the, or west across the parking lot okay, of Target. Okay, we just got one of the dresses put up. Let's talk about this. This is, I believe, one of our original designs by um, Liz Grand. And it has kind of an Asian or an Oriental look at it, as you can see that it buttons down the side with these beautiful frogs. This is made out of a crepe fabric, which is one of my favorite fabrics for temple clothing. It doesn't wrinkle. It won't wrinkle if it's crepe. And you know, one of the things that Tamara and I wanted to do when we started this business is let's create some beautiful designs that can go in the washer and dryer. And that you don't, they don't look like a wrinkled mess when they get to the temple. Well, or because they've been in a suitcase in some cases, right. and they've been traveling in some cases right. in a suitcase. So, so some of these women <laughs> so, have to travel hours to get to a temple. Particularly out of our country, mm-hmm. and even in the country. So mm-hmm. this uh, this dress would sell for a, a, just a range. That one, I believe, is 98 mm-hmm. That's reasonable. Oh, it's very reasonable. We hand select our fabrics. This was the most difficult part of starting White Elegance. It actually took us 18 months, two years, because... There are a million colors of white, but only a That's couple true. that are acceptable for temple use. That are really white, mm-hmm. white, and that they don't turn after you've had them hanging in your closet. That's exactly yeah, right. They won't turn. You don't look up two years later and you have a beige dress. Exactly. Or ecru or something. That's so it is exactly a white, right. White. So over the years, we produce our own fabrics. We have our own fabric uh, companies that produce to our standard of white. Listen to you. You were a businesswoman right off the bat. Well, we had to set the record straight. We know what white is. <laughs> yes. and, okay, and I will be honest, when you come in and, or when you go to the distribution center, you're going to see lots of whites. But we, tr- we always keep them within a certain range. And it's interesting, depending on how light reflects off your fabric, That's true. will give you a different color. So now you control all of that. We try and control all of that. We produce our own <clears throat> uh, patterns in the fabric as well. I love it. So tell me about this dress. This is a fun story. We actually um, make dresses for choirs. Oh, okay. So high school and college choirs, some community choirs, several down here in Utah Valley. Uh, We go in and they can choose any uh, one of 12 or 14 different styles, put it in any color, add a sleeve, have a different neckline. And a girl actually drew this dress from Fremont High School. She had a drawing, and she said, I want this dress. And before any of you out there think, oh, I have a design, can you make it for me? We don't do this. But this was <laughs> this was a funny, fluky thing. Um, I took it back, this drawing, and the designer and I went, that is really attractive. Let's whip one up and just see. Well, it turned out so beautiful, and they had it done in a gorgeous um, blue, like this blouse you're wearing. And it was gorgeous. And we said, that would make a gorgeous temple dress. So this is a double Georgette temple dress. Oh, my. And we made it in white, and it's fully lined. It, it, it too, is washable. I mean, just washable is just really important to us. And quality is very important to white elegance. Well, I like the neck on this. I think Isn't it's very beautiful? graceful. Uh-huh. It's and really how graceful. it just flows over to the side and, and drapes pockets, down. right? Oh, yes. Got to have pockets. Got to have pockets. <clears throat> That's just beautiful. 
Um, I, what I would like to do is we need to finish where we are, and we'll catch that. We've got two stores, but I want to I want to go through this because you your your little uh, pioneer dress caught my attention <clears throat> in one of your ads, and so uh, Foster, can we bring up the pioneer dress? Okay, there is that it. That's one of our pioneer designs, <clears throat> and is that that's not in, that's not in color. So is this one behind us? Is it? Um, and the one you're seeing on the computer right in front of us is that's kind of a a navy blue and a wheat color. And then what we do is we create skirts and aprons, and we also have like this bonnet behind us Can that's this beautiful that? color. Either one of us reach that without falling over. Oh. You know what, Pat? I'm a... Don't tear it. No. Pardon no. us while we fall over and pull yeah. the mannequin with us. Let me grab this. There offer. you go. <laughs> we didn't think that was going to be that difficult for our radio no. audience. We're going to describe this for you a little bit. Okay, so <clears> what <throat> we've done is we've taken beautiful um, cotton fabrics that would be uh, somewhat applicable to what the pioneers would wear. Um, and then we put a, a large brim on the front, just like the, the pioneer women, but we have lined it as well so that it's, yeah, turn it, that it's turn it stiff. Oh, what did you do? Oh, that's why it's stiff, so yes. it's not sugar water no you don't want it <laughs> flopping in your face as you're walking this is around great and you know what there's the uh, bonnet part of it the cap part is large enough to pull a lot of hair up in absolutely and i like that i like that i wish i'd known about this last summer because i had grandchildren that were doing hiking you know, on going tracks on tracks mm -hmm. and that would have been fun this is lovely and got a great oh this is great the and sash the sash the will tie it on wonderful and then we added this four-inch back piece. That covers your neck. That covers the neck. Right. And, you know, it's so interesting. We think of fashion today and what we wear. But women, during the pioneer days, it, everything had a purpose and had a reason. And these really well, protected has, the women. It has a very large, what I want to call a brim. bill on the brim. Is that mm -hmm. what you call it across the front? So it comes out, gosh, almost six inches away from your forehead. It does. So it's giving lots of shade. And then this piece in the back is good, what three inches across mm -hmm. the back of the right at the bottom of the hair across the neck makes sense and why don't we do that now <laughs> they i know do, they do when they ski um but this is beautiful to the radio audience it really is lovely the closest store if you're coming from the south is going to be the orem store it will be orem uh, yeah and it's on university parkway just south of the university mall and then if um if you're watching us on the internet in South Jordan is another store, and then also in Centerville? In Centerville off of Parish Lane. Okay. And those of you up that way will know that Parish Lane is a new shopping area. It's just beautiful, and they have a Walmart there, and you look across the street, and we're in the parking lot of Walmart right on Parish Lane and across the street from Dairy Queen. So go grab an ice cream and come on over and shop for some beautiful Pioneer. We have Pioneer for men, too, and you children. Do? You do? Well, everybody well, goes that? on when track. They, they do. <laughs> we send everybody, young <clears throat> and old. And and I'm very excited about this. Now, behind us, you have the blouse, which is a, a nice, um, no ruffles around the neck because right. you've got the bonnet around mm -hmm. there and it's tied. So a cute little white blouse with darling little buttons and their sleeves. At the bottom of the sleeve, you have a wide ruffle that covers your hand. Absolutely. You know They're thinking better than we do. People in Southern California ought to dry, dress like this. Everybody has skin cancer. That's right. And then the skirt, this is a little apron over the red skirt. We do pattern kind of aprons. No, we do because pattern aprons. Because it matches the, the ruffle around the bonnet. That's exactly right. Yeah, I love it. I love we it. coordinate. And every um, couple of months, Tamara, um, my partner, goes through the Pioneer Fabrics and picks out pieces so that you don't see yourself on the trek out there. So, so they mix and match. Lots so that of a mix bit and yeah. match, and we bring in new colors. If you like a color, you have to get it, though, because it's not going to stay around okay, forever. Okay, and so when you say something for the men, you're talking about the britches and the shirts? We don't carry the pants. We carry um, a faux uh, suede vest Okay. and the pioneer hat and then a pioneer shirt for the men in suspenders. And kids? And the kids, the same outfit for the girls, the bonnets, the well, aprons, the bloomers. What's the youngest bloomers. that you go down to for the I kids? think a size two or three for children. Really? Yes. Fun. And you know my favorite piece, Pat, are the bloomers, which <gasps> it's hard to see Fun. here. But let me tell you, I was one of those on one of the first treks that was actually sponsored by yeah. BYU. And yeah. I think they were six or seven days back way too far to remember <laughs> um but we didn't wear bloomers you know we they said go the di and get some pioneer looking clothes and you only had one change of clothes i don't even think they gave us a change of clothes but if we had had bloomers 
those le our legs would have been protected. By the time we got home, they were eaten by bugs and sticks and dirt. Oh, my. Oh, so, it was So you awful. have bloomers now? Oh, if I was only going to get one piece for Pioneer Trek, it would be the bloomers. The bloomers? Oh, yes. It and is so critical. And they're white and fluffy? And yeah, they're white and fluffy and very ankle. loose so that, I yeah. mean, it, very lightweight. Yeah. So they're not hot, but and they're a little, little bit they're tight. They're not too puffy or no. too tight? Just and right. um, and a little bit of elastic around the ankle because you don't want bugs and dirt. Crawling and then up. a darling little ruffle on the bottom. So for those of you that are dressing for the upcoming 24th July parade, go to White Elegance. Go to White Elegance. Um, this little outfit with the bonnet, the apron, the blouse, and the skirt. Uh, where are we, around $100? Where are we? Oh, going? no. You're around $78. No. Yes. For a bonnet, handmade mm -hmm. bonnet, mm -hmm. and, and this apron, the bonnet. and a skirt, and a blouse? Yes. I'm, My under, I'm coming I'm, shopping. Yeah, do. Come shopping. And then how large do you make them? We make them into a 2XL. No kidding. Yes. And we also have dress, a pioneer dress, and those come in a couple of different colors. If you prefer a dress over a skirt and top. Then you have the dresses. We have a dress. My goodness. Well, then you have something else. If Foster View will put up the Sunday dresses, because that's new. It is. So let's talk about Sunday dresses. And this is because of demand? Demand. Or people wanting demand. everything to fit in, will fit in their closet. Mm -hmm. You know, I don't think there's anything more difficult out there than for us women. Uh, it doesn't even matter that you're LDS and you want to dress modestly. Women don't want to be showing our arms and our cleavage and everything else. Um, we just want to look beautiful. And so we brought in a line of um, a little bit younger and with a good sleeve in them. They're washable. Um, they're just soft and lovely. And these are well-liked and well-received from young women um, through through our age path. They're just beautiful well, dresses. Well, I, th I think it's wonderful to have a place to go. Mm -hmm. I mean, this is something you can... Uh, Describe this dress for our radio audience, too. This is adorable. This is just a poly knit dress, and it's soft. I think it has, contains some rayon. It's a little sweetheart, or excuse me, a little Peter Pan collar on it with some piping and uh, lace down the front bodice, and it ties lovely. in the back. That is lovely. Isn't that lovely? Now, that could go for either a, a younger, young adult or mm -hmm. older. It's a it very is. comfortable dress. Uh, Foster, can you put up another one? About how much would that cost now? Something I believe like that. that one is sixty-nine. Your prices are incredible. Well, we know people are on a budget. We, we want to make sure that we can get some good products. Uh, I'm going to recommend White Elegance. Okay, we've gotten as far as Orm, South Jordan, Centerville, and then our flagship, which is our Murray store, which has been there. I just found out this week. I think it's been there fifteen years. That's great. I am so proud of you yeah. and your sister. We, you it's know what? Easy. We've been very blessed. It's, it's, Let's well, face it. it's not easy to start a business when there are already businesses doing similar things. Mm -hmm. And when your prices yeah. are below anything else that's out there, and to keep the margin large enough uh, so you can keep going. You've done a great job. I am so proud of you. Oh, Thank I like you. this. What is this? Okay. This is another mm -hmm. beautiful, soft, um, this is a navy blue. It's got a ruffle around the neck and ruching through the bust line, and then it's t it's tighter and it's not tight, but it's a fitted waist, but with ample um, shearing around the waist so that it opens up a little fuller from our hips down because we tend to droop as we get older, don't we? Don't, I don't want to go there. I know. <laughs> I don't know what's happening. It's like gravity or something. Yeah, every birthday everything moved. But you know? these are beautiful because they're this fuller. Is, they're, now this is a very comfortable dress because oh, this so is an easy walking dress, easy sitting. I learned over the years if I was going to go to symphony or a three act play, <laughs> not to wear a tight, straight oh, skirt. Nothing worse than that. It, uh, it, there is, and there's always a draft under the seat rolling on the floor, and this is long enough. It comes down. It's not quite mid-cap, but this is beautiful. I like it. Aren't they the, beautiful? Well, I can't tell. It, it looks like this is kind of gathered little uh, rosebud-type things or something yes. around the neck. There's rosebuds and a ruffle around the neck. Okay. And then the sleeve is more than a cap sleeve, but it doesn't come all the way to the elbow. Correct. So it's not quite a three-quarter sleeve. Correct. It's not quite a cap. That's very, very nice. Um, do we have anything else? Do we have another one? No, that's it? Okay. Well, we You know, Pat, it. I might mention to our moms out there who are <clears> plaiting <throat> weddings, that these dresses make beautiful um, bridesmaids' dresses. Your Sunday dresses, yes, sure. Yes, absolutely. Would be a we great... sell a lot of these for bridesmaids. 
that would be perfect. And can you get them in different sizes? Yes. You're able to, because yes. you control all of this. We carry extra, extra small, which is about a size zero up to a 2XL in these dresses. So if you're planning a wedding, all of our ladies out there, these are wonderful dresses. It's something the ladies will wear afterward, after the wedding, and yet they're reasonably priced. They're beautiful. They, we have six or seven different colors that can fit into your, your scheme of your wedding. Well, I'm very excited about having you here, about knowing this, and uh, giving people an option. And it's there. Everything is so inexpensive. I'm. I love what you're doing. Thank you. Well, you're trying to Thank cater you. to the people that need these items in some cases, want them in others, but so that everybody comes out of this without it hurting. Right. Do you carry any kind of jewelry or? We don't carry jewelry. But before we go off, I just want to mention an, an, a service that White Elegance has provided over the years. We have provided over four thousand free young women's programs at our store. So you go out and speak and talk, and do you take the dresses and we models? We can take and dresses things? and models, or if you're looking for a wonderful young women's event, our doors close at 7 o'clock, and the women can be scheduled, your group, you can schedule them in any of our stores, come in, bring them at 7. We have a beautiful uh, presentation on Tuesday or Wednesday nights. They get to try on dresses, depending on the program. You can take pictures. Um, and we talk about preparing for the temple. We talk about preparing for life oh, and grace. Oh, that's wonderful. That is so wonderful. It's free. And it's free. It's free. All right, let's so give out a phone number again. The eight, White eight, Elegance. 801. 800. Excuse me, 800. 628-4742. 800-628-4742. Or you can find their website by going to whiteelegance.com. Whiteelegance.com. And get hold of them there. Yes. This has been great. Thank you Thank so you for much for bringing us. this Pioneer outfit so with fun. you and for coming and sharing. And you still look like you're 22. Oh, you're such a lovely lady. <laughs> well, I love the fact that you just went out and you made it happen. You well, just made we it happen. Meant to be. Good. It has meant been meant to, be. to be. And I hope you come back and see us again. Thank and bring you. Some I will. Things. We'll bring models. We'll do a whole thing. That will be fun. Thank you so much for being with us today. We appreciate your time. I'll be back tomorrow. We have a new uh, guest starting in the morning at uh, or noon at uh, Ken. Uh, um, is going to be on with us, and uh, he's got some really good information. So tomorrow's going to be fun also. Thanks for being with us. Bye-bye.